Hi Gemini and welcome to your monthly love tarot messages. We're going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here Gemini's in relation to love and romance this month. As always these messages are going to be general because it is a general reading so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So these messages are intended for Gemini Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching as well. Let's give the cards a shuffle and see what they're predicting for you here. So what messages does Gemini need to know here? Okay, judgment, Gemini. The sun, the devil, the two of wands, king of swords, the six of wands and the two of cups. Okay, great. I feel like this op this month here will be a very opportunistic month in terms of love, like building romantic connections or even like moving forward in positive directions or moving on from something here. Um, you've got a lot of major arcana cards here. I feel like in terms of love, there's going to be a lot of forward momentum, a lot of progression, a lot of movement. Um, so where you feel like your love life has been a little bit stagnated, a little bit stuck, I'm seeing that you're reaching some sort of breakthrough, which is good here, Gemini. Um, let's begin with the Judgment card here, though. I honestly feel for, for a lot of you, there is a connection, a romantic connection that is almost like it's awakening. It's some sort of rebirth, um, reawakening here. Um, there's some sort of reckoning here with the energies. For a lot of you, this month is a good idea to take a closer look at your romantic connections here, at your relationships here, and figure out what needs to be changed. Because this is where I feel like after some self-analysis, after some reflection, after you know looking through your relationship and dissecting, okay, what needs work? Okay, what needs strengthening? You know, whether it's communication skills, whether it's spending more time together, and really hone in and focus on the areas. This is why I feel like you know, this is what's going to generate that forward momentum, that progression of all that, you know, that movement that I'm seeing for a lot of you Geminis here. It's because I feel like certain issues that you may have once ignored are either going to mount up to the point where you can no longer ignore them, or it's just going to get to the point where I feel like you're either, um, I feel like you're going to give yourself sort of like an, yourself in the connection an ultimatum. It's like, okay, we either try and fix this or, you know, we leave it be sort of thing but a lot of you I do feel like you're going to do some um, you're going to do some stepping back and you're going to do some reflection here okay because judgment card indicates a time of reflection of analysis which is typically initiated by some sort of awakening and you'll have the chance to make adjustments it's also important to keep communication really open with your romantic connection so if something is troubling you here gemini if something is worrying you don't bite your tongue okay it's important to keep that channels of communication open here because any changes it doesn't matter how big or small these changes they're going to have a very significant impact on your relationship here for some of you, I'm seeing, Gemini, that your past actions, okay, whether good or bad, they're either catching up to you or to a, a romantic, um, connecting romantic energy. So if someone has done you wrong in the past, I'm seeing like karmic justice catching up to them. So someone's past actions here could also be yours, though. You know, if you feel like, you know, you haven't done right by someone, um, I feel like, yeah, past actions are catching up. So watch out for that guys um, and if you have made mistakes in the past you can use them as lessons use them as learning tools as lessons to make changes for the future for any future relationships any future connections here overall I feel like the month is going to be very positive I mean you've got the Sun card I feel like it's going to be very optimistic especially in areas of love I'm seeing a lot of growth I'm seeing a lot of opportunities for changes um, you know to make readjustments um, this this there's a lot of nourishment, so an abundance, because sun is vitality, sun is life. Uh, for a lot of you, I feel like feelings are going to be growing this month. You could possibly end up spending a lot more time together. Maybe the two of you could be getting really um, close here. I'm seeing you're going to be a lot more open here, or your romantic um, partner here is going to be a lot more open with you. Um, a lot more communication as well. A lot of more communication here is coming in. Now, with the Devil Tarot here, 
the devil okay there is some sort of for some of you I feel like temptation okay for some of you the devil here represents a temptation be careful not to give in to any addictions any like oppressions or temptations here because the devil sort of has a powerlessness Notice how, you know, he holds Adam and Eve captive here with the chain. It, it makes the whole imagery is, um, you know, is made to appear that, you know, it's the devil here that's hold, that holds them captive. And the, less, and the more time they spend with the devil, the less human they become. So um, watch that you don't give in to any temptations. I mean, temptations can be very tempting, um, especially this month here, but... You have to ask yourself, what is it that you stand to resist? Because your past actions, sooner or later, they will catch up with you, okay? So that's just a bit of a warning for some of you. For others of you, what I'm seeing in terms of the devil card here, um, I feel like someone's lifestyle here is leading them down a rabbit hole. Now, I don't know if it's you, Gemini, or if you're connected to a romantic interest here, Something that they do or something about this person doesn't feel like it's right for you, okay? Because the devil does have like this kind of toxic, addictive, addictive quality. I know you may want them or you're sexually attracted to this person, but maybe they treat you wrong or maybe, you know, um, there's a feeling that comes with this connection. It, it feels like you don't have form over you. You don't have full control over your actions or, you know, or your even your urges here because you're so you know you're so sexually drawn to this person and the two of you just really gravitate towards one another but there's nothing healthy about this connection so for a lot of you i feel like the devil here is indicates maybe feelings of entrapment but also a sense of emptiness and unfulfillment here and it could also mean that you're a slave to your you know sexual raw desires here because often when the devil does show up you know he's sort of He's urging you to you know to question which way is more the sexual gratification the short-term pleasure um, that you know a connection brings all the long-term pain that eventually you know you endure from it so you know which one sort of um, weighs more I guess with the two of ones for some of you I feel like a lot of you are going to be meeting someone online so for those of you active on dating profiles I feel like you're going to match with someone who seems very compatible um, the only thing is I feel like this person is at a geographical geographical distance from you so um, they could live in a different city or state but I'm seeing well, this is someone you're going to connect with um, I'm seeing that sparks are going to fly you're going to exchange numbers quite quickly there's going to be this instant and mutual attraction and connection with one another here um, what else do I see? I see in terms of love, I feel like things are moving forward. So for those of you single, um, enjoy your single down because I don't think you're going to be single for much longer. For those of you in a relationship, things are coming together, okay, especially where there was stagnation for some of you, things are moving forward. And even for those of you who are like, if you're seeing someone, it's like a casual arrangement type of a situation with the devil, you will have an opportunity to build on it, okay, because I feel like It'll surprise you because this person might turn around and may actually want something more. Or you may be at a stage where you're ready to, you know, title it and put a label to it. So I'm seeing a lot of um, positive uh, movement. I'm seeing a lot of action as well. So this month, I feel like there's going to be a lot that's going to be happening and there's going to be a lot of changes in your love life. So do enjoy it and make sure that you communicate what it is that you want. Okay, make sure you communicate with your partner. Uh, make sure you build that, you know, those levels of trust by keeping open uh, channels communication because that's going to be very important, very paramount to um, to the growth and, you know, the building of a connection here. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you, as always, for watching and for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, commenting. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so do stay tuned. And for those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, take care, guys. I'll catch up with you later in the week.